hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to obtain the displacements of node 3 and 4 in previous video i showed you how to obtain global stiffness matrix so this is the second video in this video we will see how to obtain displacements of node 3 and 4 so this is our system a spin system and the, the global stiffness matrix relates global forces to global displacements as follows this is the equation in matrix form so we all know the equation of uh, f equals kd right this is the matrix form of this f equals kd equation so Uh, this is the global stiffness matrix we obtained this previous video and these are the forces right and global forces not local forces these are global forces that means uh, this capital F 1 X means forces on node 1 and F 2 X means forces on or force on node 2 likewise f3x f4x uh, denotes forces of node 3 and node 4 and these are the displacements uh, displacement means uh, you can see simple d not capital d that means local or global displacement is displacement d1x means displacement of node 1 d2x means displacement of node and d3x d4x means displacements of nodes 3 and 4 okay in here we apply boundary conditions boundary conditions are the known data we use known data for determine unknown data so we can apply or we can input our known data here first we start with forces so f1x f1x means force on node 1 so as you can see node 1 and node 2 are fixed so that means there is a resistance so therefore there is a force on node 1 and node 2 but we don't know what are the forces are therefore this f1x and f2x i will keep as it is then i will go to f3x that means force on node 3 as you can see node 3 is a free node that means it is not fixed therefore there are no resistance so that means there is no force that means capital F 3x equals 0 this is 0 right and finally F 4x in node 4 there is a force of 5000 and it is directed to the same direct direction as our x coordinate that means F 4x equals plus 5000 Right, those are the boundary conditions of forces now we go to displacements d1x d1x means displacement of node 1 so we know node 1 and node 2 are fixed therefore there are no displacements in node 1 and node 2 that means d1x and d2x both are equals to 0 there are no displacements but there are displacements in node 3 and node 4 so we don't know these values I will keep it as it is so now we input our boundary conditions and known data so once these 
2 are 0 uh, that means you know we can label it now like coordinates I showed in in previous video I can label this as 1 2 3 4 and this here also I can label it as 1 2 3 4 so if this d1 and d2 equals to 0 I can delete this first row and second row likewise since row 1 and row 2 is eliminated I can delete column 1 and column 2 that's the way we solve this problem so once we eliminate these rows and columns only we have left is these details so I will write it clearly on next page here 0 and 5000 for forces and uh, this is the stiffness matrix and remaining values of stiffness matrix 3000 minus 2000 minus, minus 2000 and 5000 and d3 and d4x okay don't look at this mm. then we can simplify this so I hope you know how to multiply two matrices so I will multiply 3000 with d3x and minus 2000 with d4x so I will write it here 3000 d3x minus 2000 d4x and it's equals to 0 so this is the equation number 1 and then I will write another equation for this second column so I will multiply minus 2000 with d3x and 5000 with d4x so I can get minus 2000 times d3x d3x and 5000 times d4x plus 5000 times d4x and it's equals to 5000 okay this is the second equation so there are two unknowns that is d3x and d4x and there are two equations so we can easily solve these two equations so we don't need to solve it manually we can use a scientific calculator just input the data and get the values if you solve this using a calculator you will get the answers as d3x equals 10 or 11 and d4x equals 15 or 11 so units of both values are inches so that's it that's how we obtain displacements of node 3 and 4 I hope you understood what I said so next in next video I will show you how to obtain the reaction forces at nodes 1 and 2 please like comment and share this video to see future educational videos please subscribe learning net youtube channel thank you